Question 4 in this game, or question 21 overall, reads, If each recycling center in Rivertown recycles exactly three kinds of material, then which one of the following could be true? Now two things to note about this question before we get to the answer choices. The first is that it asks which of the following could be true, so we're probably going to want to use process of elimination. It's generally easier to show that something cannot be true than to show that it can be true. The other thing to note is because we were given some upfront information, we want to see what we can do with that and take that as far as we can before we start looking at the answer choices. Because we don't want to start bl blindly going through the answer choices because that's going to take a lot more time than if we do what we can up front. So the question says, if each recycling center in Rivertown recycles exactly three kinds of material, so I drew a little visual that you can put right next to the question in your test book to give us something to look at. So okay, well we have three materials here, here, and here. And so well, what can we do with this? Again, we have this rule about everything that is at center two has to be at center one. So we get a similar setup as we did in the last question. And the more practice tests you do, the more you'll start noticing that the LSAT is a little bit repetitive in this way. So once you've figured out how to use a particular rule in the context of one question, you oftentimes use the rule again in the same way in the next question. So here, you can say, oh, well, everything at center 2 is at center 1, and because we have three materials at each center, this actually has to go both ways, because there can't be anything that is at center 1 that is not at center 2. We can then keep going the same way we did with the last question to say because plastic can only be at one of the centers, it cannot be at center one or center two. So plastic has to be at center three. So well, what else can we do with this? We can look and see that plastic and glass cannot go together. So glass cannot be here, so it's got to be one of the materials that's at centers one and two. So we have to have something like this. We can circle back through the rules and say, is there anything else we can do? Well, we already used this rule. We already used this rule, and we already used this rule. It's not quite clear just yet what we're supposed to do with this wood and newsprint rule, because we can't conclude just yet whether wood and newsprint are going to be over here or whether they could, in fact, be over here. So what we want to do is we want to look at the answer choices and see what we can get rid of easily and then see what we have to do moving forward to get down to one answer choice. So the answer choices read, only center two recycles glass. Well, no, we already concluded that only center three recycles glass. So choice A can go. Choice B reads, only center three recycles newsprint. Well, we don't know anything about newsprint yet, so we'll leave that in the running. Choice C says only center 1 recycles plastic. Again, we can get rid of that one because we know that only center 3 recycles plastic. So we can cross out choice C. Choice D says only center 3 recycles tin. Again, we don't know anything about tin yet, so we'll let that be for now. Choice E reads only center 1 recycles wood. If we look here, it's not possible for only center one to recycle anything. So we can get rid of that as an answer choice as well. So we're down to two answer choices. Choice B says only center three recycles newsprint. And choice D says only center three recycles tin. Now we have to make a little bit of a strategic guess as to which one of these answer choices to try. And what we're doing is we're looking for the one that doesn't work. We're looking for the one that we can cross off because that's easier to show than to show directly that something does work. Now in looking at these two answer choices, I notice that in order for something to be shown to not work, it has to trigger some rules because you have to reach a contradiction. So usually it makes sense to try the answer choice that has more rules associated with it. 
In this case, there are no rules that directly address tin, so I wouldn't really know where to go with that. On the other hand, there are rules, namely this one, that address newsprint, so why don't I try that and see if something breaks? Now because I'm trying something that's specific to a particular answer choice, and I may want to erase, back up, try again, I'm going to circle everything that's temporary so I know what to go back and erase later if I need to. So let's test whether only sensor 3 can recycle newsprint. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put newsprint at sensor 3, but we also want to note now that newsprint cannot be at sensor 1 or sensor 2. So it's always important to remember that when you're dealing with an only statement that you want to note both sides of that piece of information. Now what you'll note here is if you think about the contrapositive of this if-then statement, we can say if a center does not recycle newsprint, then that center does not recycle wood. Well, here we have two sensors that don't recycle newsprint, so we can conclude that these sensors cannot have wood either. Okay. We can also conclude that these sensors can't have plastic because we can only have plastic at one sensor and we've already assigned it to sensor three. Now this becomes very problematic because we need to assign three materials out of five to centers one and two. There aren't two more materials left over to put in these empty spots. Therefore, we've actually shown that newsprint cannot go only at center three, because when we tried to put it only at center three, we reached a contradiction and that there's no way to satisfy filling in the rest of these spots without breaking a rule. So we can in fact say when we're being asked which of the following could be true, that it cannot be true that three is the only sensor that car carries newsprint or recycles newsprint. So we can cross that one off and just by process of elimination, we know that the answer has to be choice D, only sensor three recycles tin. And we don't even need to waste our time putting that in, double checking that it actually does work because we can be confident that none of the other four do work. And you don't want to spend time that you don't necessarily have or that you don't really need to spend on any particular question.